Hey everyone, it's Danielle Taylor here with Keller Williams Realty on the beautiful Outer Banks. And today I thought I would share with you a little bit about my Airbnb short-term rental journey and kind of how that came to be and maybe share some of my top five tips of what I've learned. So back in 2019, my husband and I decided that it was probably time where, that I put my money where my mouth was and um, go ahead and invest in a rental property, which is primarily what I focus on in this market, second home and investment property. So we thought, you know, gosh, this is something we really should take advantage of. And um, so in 2019, we started looking for a good property and obviously we're in a really great position where I can kind of keep my eye on things and, and look for something that I think would make sense. And we almost bought a property in 2019 and at the last second I got cold feet and I chickened out and anyway, so my husband never let me live that down. So in 2020, um, early 2020, we found a property and we really felt like it was a diamond in the rough. The location was fantastic. It was in Nags Head. It's a super, super, super close to the beach, um, manageable size. It was two bedrooms, one bathroom, about 860 square feet. And we're like, okay, I think we can do this. So we went ahead um, early 2020, made an offer and got under contract on that house, um, went through the whole process. So it was really interesting to have my husband as a client, um, but that might be a whole other uh, video. Um, anyway, we went through the whole process and then guess what? Remember what started happening late February, early March of 2020 was COVID. And so we had a really tough decision to make. We had to make a go, no go decision on whether we go ahead and buy this property. And at that time, I mean, nobody knew. We were supposed to close uh, middle of March, which was when everything started shutting down. And we kind of looked at each other and said, do we just go for it? And thankfully we said yes. So we just took a deep breath we closed on that property. The one blessing of COVID is that it gave us about six to eight weeks that we could focus on that property and make some repairs and do some rehab. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, I think in a separate video. Um, so we went through that process and then this whole market went gangbusters. So not only were we able to buy at pre-COVID prices, which was really helpful for us. Our rental market also went crazy. People were looking for places that they could drive on vacation, places where they could control their environment. So renting a small house with just their immediate family was really appealing. And so 2020, the summer of 2020 was our first rental season. And since then we've learned so much and it has been so much fun and we are always got our eyes open for another one. So um, just on that vein, this is we're now into our third um, season. For us personally, we keep our cottage open from about mid-April through mid-October maximum. We tend to close it down from October through the following April for a couple of reasons. Um, first is that it allows us to do updates, upgrades, any maintenance that we need to do, we can, we can go ahead and do that. It also, um, you know, our cottage is a typical beach cottage. So we don't have a swimming pool. We don't have a hot tub. We don't have any special amenities. We don't have a game room. Our cottage is so perfectly suited for beach lovers. It's suited for people that wanna come with their family and really enjoy the beach. And so off season, there just isn't a lot that our cottage has to offer. And so we just feel like it's a better decision for us to not have the wear and tear and not have that, um, stress on it over the winter and, and give us that freedom. So, I mean, that's a personal decision. I have clients that, that do it both ways. Anyway, here's kind of the five things that I feel like we've learned over the last um, few years. And um, so the first is do it right the first time. And what I mean by that was 
This was my first foray into Airbnb. Airbnb is the platform that we're using. We felt like it fit best for our cottage. Um, there's VRBO, there's traditional property management. I am gonna do a video talking about all the different ways you can manage your property in the Outer Banks. For us, because we're local, we decided to go Airbnb. What I did though, was I did enlist the help of a local person that is an expert on running Airbnbs. I did um, pay her to help me set up my listing right the first time. So how to write the description, um, what things are important to clients, how to set that up, how to get it all going. So I would say that's the first thing, ask for help or do your research. You know, Go ahead and look at other listings, look at homes that are running well and use that to do your update. The second thing we learned is that everything is about it being clean. So make sure you've, if you've got a good cleaner and make sure that your standards are high. Think about when you go into somebody's home or you're renting something or a hotel room, the better cleaned that they feel that is, the, the better their opinion of their whole stay is gonna be. So cleaning is key. Um, the next thing is, it's all about the details. So what we decided early on was that we wanted to give our guests a really great experience. And I learned that if I set the stage for that from the very beginning, it seemed to influence their entire stay. So we do a few things. So one is we always have fresh flowers in the house. They're always on the dining room table greeting the guests when they arrive. We always hand write a welcome card to that guest. And if I can, I'll try to personalize. If they've told me something in our original exchange, I'll try to personalize it for them. The third thing is we usually leave a, a small welcome gift. It could be, we have a local store called um, Outer Banks Olive Oil. We will sometimes leave a little olive oil and balsamic gift. Sometimes um, it's cookies, local cookies, things like that to give them the impression. And then the last thing is we always leave them with a starting supply of um, paper towel, toilet paper, some bottles of water, um, some coffee to get them going in the morning, regular and Keurig, um, just all of those things. And what I found is when their first impression is whole, wow, this place is like really taking care of me and really cares about me as a guest, two things happen. One, they tend to have a positive uh, feeling about the cottage and, uh, as a whole. And secondly, they leave us a good review. And that's the next thing I wanted to talk about is five star reviews are a must. I've got to focus on giving the experience that'll get you those five star reviews. It's gonna serve you well in terms of getting high quality guests. It's also gonna help you with your rankings um, in terms of your platform. So that's the, the next thing is focus on those reviews, spoil those guests so that you can get those reviews. Um, and I guess the last thing that I would say is you get out of it what you put into it. And what I mean by that is if you're going to go the route of managing it yourself, use that as an opportunity. Engage with that guest. When they reach out to me to ask to book our cottage because we, we make them have a conversation with us before they book, that's my opportunity to explain to them like, this is our cottage, we're so excited to have you. It sets the expectation that this is somebody's home. It's not just a random property where they don't know who the owner is. It allows me to get to know that guest a little bit more. And as such, we've really had fantastic luck with the people that have rented our cottage. For the most part, they've taken very good care of it. They've treated it like their own. Um, but I think it's having that engagement right up front that really set the stage. So hopefully this is helpful for you. We've definitely learned a lot. We, we are loving doing it. Um, we've really ho hosted some amazing people and we're excited about our next one. So if I can help you with any questions about this, I'm, I'm not an expert, I'm still learning, but if I can help you with sharing my experiences with Airbnb, please let me know. Also, um, if you're looking for an investment property or you wanna talk about how those numbers work or whatever, what the profitability looks like, um, reach out. We'd love to help. I hope you guys have a great day.